Why is he so confident? That might be a question people wanted to ask the Apostle Paul right after he said, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. I mean, to say I can do all things is pretty astonishing and certainly confident, even though he's acknowledging that he does them through Christ. Personally, I love Paul's confidence. If you were to ask Paul why he's so confident, I think he could answer with just one word, the word experience. Now stay with me to the end of this video because this Bible-based explanation will help you cultivate confidence personally instead of living like most people in crippling insecurity. Paul explains some of his experiences in Philippians 4, 11 through 13, and thereby he reveals the true source of his confidence. Throughout Paul's life, he had times where he was abased, which means he was brought low. And then he had times where he was abounding. His experiences in life included times where he was hungry, but then other times where he was full. His life was a lot like many of ours, mountains and valleys. Paul says, I can do all things through Christ because he has been through what feels like all things, that he's been through them with Christ, and Christ has sustained him all along the way. Even when he was hungry and his stomach wasn't satisfied, he learned how to find his satisfaction in Christ. It's in Philippians 4 where Paul is saying, in spite of the many vicissitudes of life, he says, I am confident because of my experiences with Christ. I am confident because of what Christ has done for me and through me and what Christ has provided for me eternally. Ladies and gentlemen, in order for you to rid yourself of crippling insecurity and become unstoppably confident, you must lean into your experiences with Christ. Christian people should be the most confident people on the planet. Unfortunately, sometimes secular people are much more confident than many Christians. It's interesting in the Bible's account of David and Goliath, how when Saul and all Israel heard the words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. You could say they were insecure and Goliath, a secular person, was oozing with confidence and a sense of security. After all, Goliath was a champion out of the camp of the Philistines. He was an experienced fighter. His height was six cubits and a span. He had a helmet of brass. He was armed with a protective coat and body armor, and he had an iron spear and a shield. This experienced man of war was extremely confident, but unfortunately for Goliath, his confidence was misguided. Young David speaks confidence into Israel's situation when he says, let no man's heart fail because of Goliath. David says, I will go and fight this Philistine. Those are confident words from a bold young man. And remember, like Goliath, David's confidence was also rooted in experience. It's in 1 Samuel 17, where the Bible explains that in order to protect his father's sheep, David had to fight off a lion. And in another situation, David had to fight off a bear. And after having had those experiences, David says, this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them. David's confidence is not rooted in naivete, nor is it rooted in some kind of misguided arrogance, but it's rooted in the truth of his personal experience. Further than that, David was the victor in this battle because unlike Goliath, David's confidence was in the Lord. David said, the Lord hath delivered me out of the paw of the lion, and the Lord hath delivered me out of the paw of the bear, and so he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. The examples of confident men like the Apostle Paul and young David teach you and I that you've got to first do something difficult in order to become someone amazing. You've got to face the experience of a difficult situation in order to possess the unstoppable confidence of future experiences. So get out there and do the thing that God has called you to do. It may be intimidating now, but the more you experience that type of situation or circumstance, the more he, God, can cultivate within you a God confidence. Again, I say Christians should be the most confident people on the planet because after all, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me.